Jimi Hendrix changes managers on September 17th, 1970. The next day, he's found dead with wine coming out of his mouth and out of his nose. Doctors found very little alcohol content in his blood. Highly intoxicated on barbiturates, someone could have easily drowned him by force ingestion, a common torture tactic by intelligent agencies like Britain's M16, which Jimi Hendrix's manager, Michael Jeffrey, was a part of. Jeffrey had a life insurance policy out on Hendrix, and if Hendrix would have switched managers, Jeffrey would have been exposed for years of embezzlement. Three years later, Jeffrey mysteriously dies in a plane crash. His remains were never found.